Double RT Boxing, your host Mr. A with another Ubekenstein coverage. You know, this one is on the now 5 0 Ulebek Sorbirov. He took on Yorgi Yangazadu. Like I said, he's 5 0, and this was an experienced type fight. He fought uh, Yorgi, who is now 39 and 35 with one draw. Now, 468 rounds of a professional experience against a guy in his fifth fight. So you can say, yeah, he has a lot of losses, super Walter weight. But look at all those rounds of experience that he had to go against, 468 rounds. And this guy, Yorgi, out of, the, out of all those fights, I recognize some. He fought Michael Soro. Like a lot of his fights are in his home country, you know, his little land of uh, Georgia. But he, he fought a, uh, where is it at? He fought Michael Soro. I, you guys probably recognize it. All the names I recognize are the ones that turned out to be, you know, they're in the high rankings. He fought Michael Soro, Lazio Toth, who just fought Quatrillo. He fought um, Sergio Garcia. If you guys don't know him, I believe he's a, a nice middleweight or super middleweight. He's ranked like number four or five in, I think, the WBC. Uh, he also he also fought, where is he at? He just fought, or just now didn't fight, but in 2016 he fought uh, Kerman Laraga. That's the guy who just knocked out Bradley Ski. So he's fighting some good, He he's that, he fought a lot of stiff competition. You know, a lot of good competition, I should say. So he's a, he's a good uh, person to get yourself in there with at a young age. He's going to give you a test. Now, uh, Uglebeck took him out in two rounds with a body shot. These Ubekensteins, like I said, they work the whole body. Head hunters, body hunters, they're, they're out for destruction, man. You got to, like, if you just, like, if you, like, and basically, if you like Kanat Isam, Triple G, if you like a, who else fights like this, a Bivol, you know, obviously the I'm naming I'm naming it European market, but that style, the, like the head, the body, I'm gonna break whatever you whatever I see opening, I'm gonna hit it. Now, out of the four, um, you Beckensteins that I know, Quatrillo and as Azabek being the first, the only two I knew, I discovered Bekzoy making his pro debut on the undercard and Yugo Beck on this undercard. I would say Yugo Beck, Yugo Beck is the least polished. Uh, the other three, you know, I think they're complete. And it just, as the rounds get better in their career, they're going to get sharper and sharper and sharper. You know, they have all the punches. But to me, Yugo Beck, if I could say anything, he fights like a... The guy who's going to fight, uh, what's his name? Saddam Ali. Jaime Mangule. Mang I always mess his last name up. Mangule. Manguli. Whatever. Jaime Mangula. I'm, I'm probably messing the name up. I'm adding an L on it, but I know there's no L on it. Mangua. Yeah, Jaime Mangua. Yugla Beck fights like him. He, he relies on a lot of hooks with his power. He doesn't jab himself in enough. You know, but when he does work the jab, he's a much better fighter. Even though, you know, you only had two, two rounds to see, but you can see he needs to do the jab more. You know, but he, he, he does the hooks, the body work, up and down. He looked real good. Uh, Yorgi was trying to move on him, but he, he kept tracking him down with a little bit of jab, and then he hit the body. He finally got, got him out with a body shot. Uh, he just stood like... It was a weird one. Like, and he hit him with a body shot. He was like, <clears throat> kind of like a semi folded up. And he just like walked in the corner. And the referee's like, okay, stand in eight count, bro. You're hurt. <laughs> like, he, like he, he he didn't let the fighters go on. He just like, <clears throat> he folded. <clears throat> you can tell by his reaction. He's like, okay, go. You, you go back, go over there. <laughs> he was giving him an eight count. And Yorgi was kind of like looking at his corner, trying to like slowly inch over to his corner, looking, looking. And referees are like, "Dude, you don't want to, you don't want to continue, do you?" It's done. Waved him off. So, like I said, 
out of the four, you, your Beckensteins on that card. Quattrillo, that's the dark horse in the Walter with division for me. Number four, WBC Silver Champion. I'm going to keep saying it every time I mention any one of these guys. As a back, the new super middleweight Silver Champion. Then you got the rookie pro debut, Beckzoid. And you got Uglebeck. He needs a little more polish, but go check these guys out. The Double RT Boxing Show. Thank you for his time and support.